Hi guys, we're from Sonic State here. We're at Mesa 2014 at the PV booth. Well, the PV room. They've got a whole room to themselves. And uh, here we have the PV Valve King, or the, the second take on the Valve King. Yeah, the new, the new generation, I suppose you could call it, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the, the new updated Valve King. We have four models. Uh, currently, you're looking at the 50 watt combo. Um, below that, Ah, oh, the cameraman's listening. Um, we have the 20 watt combo. Um, they do look very similar. Um, obviously, the power differences are that the uh, 20 has two um, EL84s in power stage. The 50 has two 6 L6s uh, for obviously different tone and different volume levels. The, the, as you can see, the front panels are the same. They have the two channels with separate EQ. You have the bright switch also on the clean channel. Um, above that is the channel select, free band EQ. Then moving along, the lead channel has a separate boost for um, volume and for gain. All of these are foot switchable, obviously. Uh, then the master section with reverb. Uh, on this, these models, there's the damping control, which is similar to resonance and presence, presence but a co uh, combined control. And then the uh, a patented very class control, which enables the user to blend anywhere between um, class A full power. Uh, push-pull uh, down to class A single-ended uh, and this is doing it all within the uh, the actual amplifiers no DSP doing that or anything so it's not um, not emulated by digital bomb tool. It's all he's, a, a, yeah, he's actually doing it all with, with, uh, with valves yeah. Um, one other feature which actually the camera has just slightly ignored because you know it's <laughs> it is uh, in this area here this amplifier isn't actually on but um, in fact probably better if we move over to this one it's a bit easier to explain. In this this area, we have the TSI circuit. Um, it could easily be ignored if it's not pointed out. This stands for tube status indication. Uh, this basically tells you um, how your tubes are working. So if I switch it on, you'll notice it went from red to green. So, so they're it, it, active and going. Yeah, so they're active and and also it shows that they're biased correctly and there's no problems. As you, as you play, normally they should stay green. If there is any issue, then there's protection circuitry to shut them down, or shut one of them down if the only one has a problem. So you can actually get, it gives you a, a constant update as to what's yeah, going on, it's, that's a brilliant yeah, it's, and it will, it will check for overcurrent, undercurrent, correct biases. It saves me taking awesome. it apart and blowing myself across the room again. It can go, yeah. oh, it's a problem, take uh, it to somebody who knows. Exactly, not, yeah. It might be a problem, let's just tinker with it and see yeah, what happens. It's, and it, that is featured on all, all the amps, one uh, indication, uh, LED per tubes, hence why the 100 watt has four of them. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so separate indication per tube. Um, so, yeah, the other models then, um, that is what is seen as the 100 watt, but the big head, that is obviously four 6L60s in there, and very similar preamp, except you have separate resonance and, and presence, um, and then again, the very class at the end. So all that, those are kind of much more similar to the previous range of, of, of Valve King, whereas the, the new little baby one that we've got in the range now, the 20 mini head, um, this is obviously a, kind of a stripped down version, but it's still the, the same um, tone that, that people seem to love. Um, you have a separate um, uh, clean and lead control, but a combined EQ section for both. Again, you've got all foot switching for channel switching and gain boost. Uh, the reverb on there, very class, and the master. So it's still, you know, got quite a good load of features, for, especially for an amp of, of that size. Now the other interesting stuff is round the back, and the, all of these amps have this stuff, but it's easier to show it on here because it's obviously nice and light. Um, so starting this end, actually, we've got a USB out, so you can connect directly to a computer, and it will sense that you're connected and you can record straight in. And that's actually taken off of the MSDI circuit, which is, stands for Mic Simulated Direct Interface. So it's a, a nice filtered version of your sound, so it sounds like a mic's cabinet, uh, which is extremely important with guitar amp. So you get a really great tone into a, a recording system or, or into um, also a PA. If you connect to the XLR into PA, it's, it's, it's a lot easier than using a microphone for live use. The engineer also has complete control over your sound then without spillage from drums or, 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 yeah, anything. or, or anyone kicking the mic over yep. or, or anything like that. It's, it makes this job much easier. So yeah, so that was the USB at the end. Uh, next to it is the foot switching jacks. So you can foot switch the channels, the boost, the reverb and the uh, effects loop. Then there is the actual effects loop connections. That was my next question, does it have an uh, So one? yes, and, that's, and these, again, the same on all of these amps that have the same rear panel features. Um, the MSDI section, as you can see, with ground lift switch, 
um, speaker enable and disable switch, which will literally turn off the connection to the speaker and send it to a dummy load, so you can run the amp without it even con oh, connected. Clever. So you can sit that on the desk if you're, you know, recording at home in the middle of the night, or you even, don't have to wake anybody. <laughs> yeah, and, and literally record, record on headphones. And you know you're going to get a great sound um, into your um, digital audio workstation. Um, this makes it a lot easier. Um, and then, yeah, actually, on this one we have the extra he headphone jack. We thought that'd be quite an yeah, useful a addition. Feature, yeah. um, so again, you can just use it on its own. Um, and then next to that, the power out, the impedance switch. Uh, this has 16 and 8. The others actually have 16, 8, and 4. Uh, and then another new feature is the attenuator. Now we've got a 20 to 5. Yeah, 25 and then 1. So oh, wow. basically, all of these amps you can switch from 100% power to 25% and then 5%. So obviously, maths tells us on this amp that's 25 to 1. On the 50 watt, it will be um, 50. 25. No, no, 12. Half. Oh, 12. Yeah. yeah. Did, 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 did yeah. Get, no, didn't, I got too did, far didn't ahead of myself. Class, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 12 and then two, and then the 100 watt amp will go 100 watts, 25 and five. Five. Yeah, so that's really useful for again for getting a really good um, saturate power those power distortion. valves. Yeah, yeah, without it. You know, 100 watt head trying. I took one yeah. of these, or I took the original one of these to a club to play a gig, and sound engineer was like, nope, nope, that's nope, it. nope, nope. And yeah. I was like, but then how am I getting any power? He's like, we should have bought a quieter head. Yeah, and that's, it. And that's, the new that's one. why they love things like this, really. Yeah, you can get that tone just... without him not having to put you through the PA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So uh, yeah, I mean those kind of features that were more what you'd find on you know specialist esoteric amps um, we've crammed them all into these to you know make them a lot more modern and usable uh, apart from this they had uh, obviously upgrade cosmetically as you can see with the, with the styling yeah, uh, they look more like a boutique amp um, and internally it's, it's all been completely redesigned um, one thing to point out as well even though if you if you look at the uh, the prices of these amps which I'm sure will be uh, displayed at some point. Yes, we um, sure. we'll uh, they're all very competitively priced, but that isn't because they're made cheaply. They're, they're, they're very happy with the quality and all the components, the important components like transformers, tubes, tube bases, the quality of the PCB, anode resistors, uh, certain capacitors, all that kind of thing. They're all the same quality that we use in the big. PV amps like the 6505 and, uh, and, and you know, the, the pro end. Um, so people shouldn't think that just because the prices of these are no, look, look really no. good, that yeah. there's any problem. They, you know, they are, are every bit as good as as our uh, as our, the higher end. Yeah. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for That's taking right. us through. That's brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Cheers for watching, guys. More videos at sunningstate.com/amp.